Hey, I'm Scott Hanselman, and it is Azure Friday. I'm here with Pranav Rostogi, and we're talking about web jobs. Uh, now, before, uh, with Jaime, we made a web job. It was a console app, and we put it up into the cloud by uh, zipping it up. Right. We stuck it into the portal, and we zipped it up. And it seems good for testing, but I don't feel like if I were running, you know, like, I don't know, the Halo website, I would be zipping things up. I'd right. Probably have continuous integration and do proper publishing, right? Exactly. <clears throat> Uh, now, you can FTP your websites, you can use Git Deploy, uh, and you can use Publish directly. Exactly. Can I do the same thing uh, if I'm doing something with a web job? You can, with a little bit of work. Uh, you can publish the, using any of the three ways that we just discussed. Okay. okay. So, in so fact, here, here we got the Hello World app, and then parallel to it, we've got a web app, which would be kind of the thing you'd expect people to have. Yeah, which is like your MVC application uh, <clears throat> that you would normally have in your, uh, in your application itself. Okay. Uh, so my Hello World job is basically just, you know, it does a console.write line. Uh, what I've done is I've compiled this uh, Hello World into an exe, and I've basically grabbed and copied the contents of this exe, and I've put it in my web application for a project I've created in the inside app data a folder called jobs, which is a convention that we have on the server side. So if if on the server in Windows Azure websites, inside my app data I have a folder called jobs, uh, I can have two kinds of jobs, triggered or continuous, and then all of my jobs get placed over here. So when my website starts or when I upload a exe using the zip file that you showed uh, that was shown to you earlier. Behind the covers, we, we are going to generate this folder structure, and that's how we know that it's a web job. Ah, okay. So he had said, uh, make sure not to put any folders within the zip. That's because he was unzipping it. Exactly. Into jobs, triggered, whatever, and then it ended up going one more exactly. deep. Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. So, okay. So that convention, jobs, the type of job, job and then the name. name. Is the convention that we follow. So when you upload a zip or do okay. any kind of publish mechanism. And so in this, uh, process, I'm just mir mirroring that structure that was on the server side, mm -hmm. on the client side, so I can use like web deploy, for example, to publish my web job. So, so in a proper build, I would either do a post build step and just something do a, like an X copy, yes. or an MS build task or something like that. Right. So like grab the contents of my exe, create these folders, and just copy the contents of my uh, console application into this folder itself. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go and include these files in my project. So you just right clicked on the jobs directory and then and included say, them. like include in the right. project. So. so they're part of the manifest. Exactly. All right? Yes. So then we just publish in the old fashioned way. Just right click publish. I click publish. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new site. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to call it Azure Friday Awesome One. I don't need a database for this application, so I can just go ahead and create it. All right. So then I'm anticipating that you'll you'll do the deploy. All the files will go up. Oh, oh. You have to pay. <laughs> uh, put them in another location, maybe. That's maybe you right. can sneak it into Northern Europe. Maybe they won't make you pay. This is the thing. We don't get any free Azure time. I, I think this is running off my own MSD and subscription account. You need to pay. I believe we have about, uh, oh, there actually. You go. We snuck it into Europe. <laughs> So we, you go ahead and hit publish, and this is going to create in the portal the new site. So we've seen website exactly. deployment before. So let me refresh we the portal. It, uh, <coughs> Super Azure Friday day, uh, to one. Where are we here? Azure Friday, awesome, right there, fourth one from the top. Perfect. So then if we did this right, when we go to Web Jobs, in the Web Jobs tab, it will have detected the job. Exactly. And so it's showing you that job called Hello ah. World. And since it was a job of type triggered, that's why I have the schedule that says on demand. I see. So I can go run this job whenever I want to. Or further on, I can get and set a frequency. I want to run it every Sunday, like okay. if it's a database cleanup job. So I can so, do some modification on it. So then this means that if you already have websites and you already have a continuous deployment mechanism, right. as long as you 
have your assets coming along in this uh, well-known directory structure. Exactly. It's going to fit into your existing deployment. Yes. Even if you have automatic deployment of your Azure websites. As long as you publish with the same folder structure, you, you are going to see your web jobs uh, show up in the portal, and then you can manage it. Uh, <coughs> Very cool. Cool. So we are then uh, deploying web jobs in existing Azure websites, kind of piggybacking on that file directory structure. Right. And they appear, and then they can be managed and run uh, from within the portal. It's Azure Friday. <laughs>